Well, here we are at the start of the trip. We got any idea where yet? This seems to be a very, very big terminus. This is Bolton Moor Street, where you can see the petrol station is where the station was. This was all railways. There used to be a big, big depot, big yard here, absolutely nothing left. The railway literally went straight through the middle of Sainsbury's. Let's see if we can catch it on the other side. Just past some industrial units, uh, this is a bridge that's been filled in. Well, here we are, start the trip. Uh, we're now at Lever Street. There used to be a tunnel here that went all the way to Moore Street. So everything else has basically been covered in. That last bridge we looked at was the last remnants of the railways. So this is the main line that goes down to Patricroft. Let's go and investigate, eh mate? The sign of railway infrastructure, eh mate? There's hope yet, we haven't filled it in. We've even left the bridge number on for us. That's from the other side. Ooh, looks like we've lost a bridge. I don't know where 32 is. It's not here in 2019. Let's keep going. Yeah, there's a pretty steep dip here. I suspect there was a viaduct or something here. It's been taken out to make it easy to walk. Looking back from the other side. Yeah. Looking forward. Let's bring it on. Well, this is a bit of a jungle. Oh my god, I'm having fun getting my bike through here. That's looking back, no better. Feel like a celebrity. Bridge out. Nice to see a few of these still standing. We're now at Bolton Hospital. This is where the line goes to Bolton. This is where the line goes to Pathcroft. See some houses ahead. I think that's the start of the engine shed. So although this has been heavily excavated, as you say this used to be a lot higher. You can see there how it used to go up. There is one or two clues that there was a railway here. Spot the bricks. Let's investigate. I'm afraid this is all that remains of Plodder Lane Engine Shed. Lovely housing estate taking over all the land. The engine shed was here. You can see Plodder Lane in the background. This was like say all the sidings that led up to the hospital and everything but as you say it's all the housing estate you won't have a clue there was a railway here other than the name itself. Let's see if we can retrace the track, eh, mate? Oh dear, what a waste. This is Plodder Lane Railway Station. Oh, it's disgusting. Overgrown, derelict, dying a lot. I'll go down and have a few clues, but uh, it looks very, very oh, wasteful. As you can see, it's a waste ground. Nothing here, no signs of the platforms, no sign of the buildings, no sign of any railway infrastructure. Ah well, let's move on to the next station. That's a nice path. And come to another filled in bridge I'm afraid. Let's go over there then. Looking from the top of that bridge now, there used to be some sidings here where these houses are on the left. I think it was a coal, coal distribution depot. This is the main line going onwards and upwards. Yep, we temporarily lost all the urban stuff now. Looking rather picturesque now. Uh, that's the location of where them coal sidings were. You can see here there's a path that used to be 
literally the route into it. Yeah. Right, this is where we have to make a slight diversion. As you can see ahead, we have a bit of traffic in the way. I.e. there's a big motorway where the railway used to go and there's not a tunnel underneath. So we have to veer off to the side. But luckily, as you can see there, there's a slope. Underneath it, there used to be a railway. They were not connected, they just went underneath each other. Where that sign is, is where it went across. Here we are on the other side of the motorway, back on track. It's a cycle lane. Oh, you want to find railway relics? Here's one. I'm not sure what class locomotive that is, but gives you an idea on who made it. Woo woo! These guys are putting me out of a job. I don't have to talk. Pictures say they are. And another picture on the other side. As you can see, we're now at a junction. A mineral line established 1875. Blah, 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 blah. Right, in reality, that's where the mineral line used to go. And this is the main line that we're taking. Some more markings on the floor, I'll check them out. I think these are just general markings on where there's certain signs on this line. Like you say, that's a loop line that we're not walking down. Close to number four. Three, five. So it gives you an idea on where we're heading to. Tell you what, I will go down the mineral line. Just for a short distance, let's see where it leads, eh mate? So this is an extension of the mineral line that will eventually meet up with the main line, the one that we're going to go over in a few minutes time. So we'll nip back now to that junction. Bit of Holton Junction, yeah? No signs of anything other than the path. Yeah, that's where we've just come from. That's where we're heading to. The only signs of railway infrastructure is those lovely doodles by the kids from the nursery school. Just underneath the bridge, we have this old thing. Fortunately, the bridge been rebuilt so I expect they just dug up out all the foundations and destroyed the original structure of this shame really onwards and upwards well, half a mile on from that last shot it's a nice straight line a bit of uh, Victorian infrastructure here but you know, it's all here we've got a bit of a flyover. I think that was a bridge that's been taken out, hence they've gone over. Eee. Those graffiti artists are getting very uh, creative in their ways. Well done, St. Joseph's. Yep, there she is. Where we just come from. Where we're going to, just before that bridge, to where the station was. Our first railway station. What's left of it anyway? Redesigned, but at least it's been preserved for its natural beauty. What was this station called, I'm asking? That's the name of the station. Little Holton Station, 1875-1954.
I suspect this was originally a traditional building. You see the old bricks, which has been expanded to accommodate for Manchester traffic. Let's have a look at it from the other side, eh, mate? Uh, there she is. Onwards and upwards. There's a nice plaque. Piece of Manchester history, eh? What it is, it's like a square structure that goes straight across rather than a round structure. Interesting. But it's well protected I'm afraid. Here's that same bridge here's that same bridge from the top. I was hoping it'd be a footbridge but I expect there were pipes underneath that. Very hard to tell. Still, nice to see a bit of structure surviving. Yeah, that's where we are. And that's what we're looking at. As you can see, we've got pretty wide siding here. Good sign that there's a junction ahead. That's what we've just been down. This is a junction of a mineral line that originally veered off to the right and then joined a line that went over the line which is going on the left. So this will eventually go underneath a mineral line, a mineral line that originally served the Manchester Ship Canal. That's where the route used to be. This is going straight ahead. That's where we're heading. Next station coming up will be Walkden. Walkden Lower. Plenty of nature around. And this is where the two stations meet. Sorry, the two lines meet. That line is still alive. Going to Manchester. We're going straight ahead. Looking back on myself. Walked in higher level. This is the location of Walkden Lower Level. This is the location of Walkden Lower Level Station. Just a bit further on from that bridge shot that we just took. That's Walkden Road straight ahead. This is where the station was. Overgrown. No clues at all. It did take me a while because I had to check the ordnance surveys, but let's go. Maybe a few clues to its original use as a station. See the brickwork in the background? Shame, no signs of the platforms or anything. All been dug over and made into a lovely cycle lane. Never mind, at least the bridges are intact. Nice route, very passable. Weather's perfect. Shame about the bike. So we cross the East Lanks. Nice 70s type bridge. Right, that's where we've just come down. And I've come to a junction where one of the spurs used to veer off to the left and join up on that line, that Walkden line, the one that's still alive. Heading in the left direction. We're going straight on. Next station stop will be Worsley eventually. It's a bit away though. Just slightly further ahead from that junction, this may look like the site of a signal box. Nicely cut out. Either that, well it's certainly wide enough to take one siding. So it's either a bank siding or the signal box. Here's an extension of that dry wall. 
all the way along up to that point where I was just filming Ah well Lovely peaceful harmony has been destroyed now by the motorway as we approach Worsley uh, the Worsley area should I say Eee Old meets new That was the original road Then he decided to build the motorway That big thing underneath Still I'm glad they didn't destroy the original one Old meets new. Welcome to the M62. Looking deep into the foliage, notice this railway wall. Now there is a pathway at the back that starts from where that sign is. I wonder if that was the mineral line that used to go to the ship canal. Oh, it's worth a look. Come on, let's go and check it out. Well, this is the pathway. It looks very straight and wide enough to be a railway. I'll have to do a bit more research to see whether that is the case or not. As you say, that's the main pathway that we're on. This is a side road. Definitely railway rubbish lying around. Even looking among here we found an old grill. The railway building here, maybe. Let's keep looking. Well, that's what we're heading for. Worsley Road, hopefully Worsley Station is just beyond it. Most probably clutching at straws here, but there's a lot, a lot, a lot of brickwork around here. I think this may have been like a flyover for the mineral line. Because the line, like you say, it came over here and went on in that direction where that previous siding was. So it joined on as a spur. Eee. Nice bit of railway drainage still in use. Victorians, eh? Very clever buggers. And it will do road. I'm sure this wasn't railroad, it's just been done for cyclists. It uh, gets us from A to B. So this is the location of Worsley. Plenty of foliage, no real signs of a railway. Plenty of bricks lying around. Maybe that was a sign of the original railway buildings. And look at all them bricks over there. Maybe in a signal box of old, you never know. That's where we're off to. Alright, check this out Alan. Just a bit further down from where we were last time. That is very stationified, if ever there was anything. And I'm sure this is a platform. Yes, yes, this is a railway station, this Alan. Deep in the foliage you can just make out the wall at the back of the station. See there, it's full of moss and everything. Well, that was obviously the retaining wall at the back of the railway station. You can't see any signs of the platform, but there's still railway structures to show you that there was something here. Again, this is the disused part of the station. Retaining wall. Looking down at the platforms. And here we have it, Watkin Station. In situ. Let's go to Bolton. Now you can catch the train on the other side down to Patricroft.
Well done Salford Council for saving this. It's camera shy. Hey, come on. There you go, looking back. Right, let's look forward. As you can see, a nice easy route. Looking back. Now at Worsley Old Hall Cricket Club. Here we are, end of the line. This is Monton Green. The railway station is right where that roundabout is. No signs of it at all. But the line originally was slightly elevated, as you can see it goes down, and it went over a couple of uh, viaducts, etc, etc, and made its way to Patricroft engine shed, where it crossed over. Well, this was Monton Green Railway Station. It used to be. See behind it, you've got the hill, that's where the line's just come off. So here we are, very close to Patricroft, still on the line. This is the line that goes to Bolton. Yeah, this is the Patricroft side of it. Goes literally through a new housing estate and up to that banking that we just saw close to where the station is. But we did manage to trace it again just before it hits the motorway. I'll show you a quick shot from the motorway to show you how elevated it was when it originally went over. There is where the line from Patricroft came over the motorway, then split the two ways. One way to Bolton, the other way up to Radcliffe and on to Bury. Join us in part two of this trip. We'll be travelling up the line to Radcliffe, going through Clifton and over those fantastic viaducts. Bring it up.